Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back to Nino Sport, man. First, let me start by saying Happy New Year to everyone. I hope this year will be the great one for all of you. I'm wishing you nothing but the best, guys. You've been good to me last year. Hopefully, this year will be the same, man. Last year alone, I managed to get like 500 subscribers because my channel was new, but I did get 500 subscribers. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. May God bless you for that. So, what is gonna happen this year? Looking at the background, we have Everton, man. Sorry about Newcastle United. My recorder just destroyed everything. But we have New we have Everton now. Looking at the background, domestic. <sighs> it's gonna be medium continental medium brand exposure is high which means we need to make sure that we did expose that brand man but to be quite honest it is it is a good career mode to be quite honest it's gonna be a good career mode given that i have some young talent in it and one of my favorite strikers of all the time in england man since i've started youth playing like seriously career mode i i like dominic calvin lewin his fast is tall i like them a lot yes i haven't used him much but yeah i got a chance to use him now hopefully that will be great man I i'm looking forward to this man i don't know how many seasons i'm gonna do but the main aim is to is to make this team great again the older side of mercy side man i want to make them great i want to make them great yes they are the older side they are older than liverpool everton they are older than liverpool but yeah as you know liverpool is more successful than them especially of late liverpool has been on great form yes they are trying there and there but they've been struggling this season so i'm just looking forward to this this is gonna be a great 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 thing i, I hope this is gonna be exciting and i hope it's gonna help my channel to grow i hope people are gonna support me i hope everything is gonna go well man but i'm wishing you guys nothing but the best this year i've been away for like how many weeks two three weeks i've been away i visited my mama's place down in rural areas man network is not that good as you all know rural areas are like that but let's get into business now. Let's see what the board want from us. Qualify for Europa League. That that's possible. Round of 16 that I can do. I don't think it's it's quite a lot, man. It's not quite a lot. It's really, really, really like something achievable. But this is Premier League again. To be in the Europa League sport, it means you should be in the top five. It's not gonna be easy yes we're gonna try and make that money i think it's gonna be like in two seasons yes so uh, yeah we will make that we will try and grow one youth player that we can sell for at least more than two more than three million and make it possible i think that's that man it's it's not that the, the difficult thing that they are asking but except the fact that uh, asking for the Europa League it's it might be a little bit too much in the first season depending on what we're gonna do in the market let's go get our youth scouts uh, I think that I'm gonna try to put my scouts in the like I'm gonna scout the British talent first I think that's my aim I wanna try and do that British talent first maybe when time goes on if i'm not getting much because i know in the places like northern ireland scotland i'm not gonna get much talent i'm not gonna get much talent man. yes i will get some but not that much talent compared to countries like spain i know in spain i do get good talent i do get good defenders in nigeria I do get good players in Germany sometimes. Those are my countries where I know if I go there, I will get good players. I will definitely get good players. But then, 
since this is Everton, we're trying to keep it more realistic, kind of, because you know that uh, they like um, young English talent. They like to grow their own players and use them. So let's hope that will work. I'm not planning to change much, but let me just block the offers that are, the players that I don't want to lose, like Pickford. Pickford, I want him to stay, man. We're building a team around him as well. But the teams, the guys like Steckel and Beck, they can leave, man. They are too old. I think Lars can leave his dirty. We cannot have a second goalkeeper who's gonna be 30 years old. Like there is no future there. Our highest rated player. So far, it is him, Lucas Luca Dean. He's the only player who's rated 83. We have Sigurdsson who's rated 82. But the problem about Sigurdsson again, Sigurdsson is 29. That might be the biggest issue right now. Sigurdsson is 29, man, and with him being 29, what does that mean? It means that he's not going to be like with us for very long. He's not going to be with us for very long, to be quite honest. He's not going to last long. But yeah, I'm willing to, to keep him. I'm willing to keep him. If there are no offers for him, I will keep him. But um, if I get a good offer, here is my strategy. I accept the good offer. I bring back Bartle. You guys, you can have your say in the comment section about that. But if I get a good offer, I'm willing to let Sigurdsson go. He probably deserves a Champions League football before he retires. He's already 29. He's going to be 30 this year, I think. So our first season is going to be reaching 30 then he doesn't have much future and his value is gonna start dropping man so I, I would be willing to let him go if that's the case i can let him go for that and then bring back um buckle buy back buckle from from chelsea and see how that will work because uh, I'm keeping Davis, of course. But when it comes to players like uh, Theo Walcott, Schadelin, Richardson is kept. But uh, Theo Walcott, Schadelin, they, they, they can leave, man. They, they can leave. They are old. Uh, I'm not planning to keep players that are too old, end up losing them for free, actually. I don't want that to happen. I really don't want that to happen, man. But um, the, the other thing is Tosan, I, I think, I think I, I, I'm willing to sell him. I will recall Sandro as well. Sandro will be sold. But the young boys, I'm just gonna take them out on loan, except for no, Moise Keane. Moise Keane is gonna stay. Uh, that guy, he can leave. But Dominic Calvin Lewin, of course, is not going, man. Dominic Calvin Lewin is not going. I will be crazy to let go of Dominic Calvin Lewin. But yeah, that's that's the situation right now. We we'll transfer Sandro as well, which means I am. We're gonna need some money from these players that I'm transferring now. We're going to have to get some money from them for us to be able to actually finance the moves that we're planning to make. Uh, now looking at the training, looking at our training, man, we're going to have to train Dominic Calvin Lewin. Of course, he is going to be the main man. He's going to be one of our top strikers. We need to make this guy great. Yes, I'm going to train him. Of course, he deserves to be trained anyway. And I'm going to train Mose Keen as well. I'm going to train Mose Keen. Who else is gonna get some training? Of course, I think it's gonna be this guy. 
I need to train Mason Holgate because I think Mason Holgate is gonna get some game time too, baby. I really like Moser King. I like the guy, man. He's, he's like pure talent. Hopefully, we can train him and make him great as well. Because I like to use these young strikers, train them. Because to me, I can enjoy the career mode if, uh, let me say, if um, all the players in the career mode are too good. I, I don't enjoy it. I need to, like, create something, leave some legacy, draw some players. You know, that, that that's what I enjoy. This is the formation I'm going to play, man. It's for four two wide. It's four one two one actually. Four one two one two, but it's four four two diamond shape. But I'm gonna push uh, my wingers a little bit front, man, so that they will be closer to the box than to the to to my defenders. Because uh, that that's what I want to do most of the time. I'm more concerned about attacking than defending in numbers because with this game if you attack you need numbers we know the game is broken so you 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 really need numbers attacking this this is what i usually like do man this is my formation then i would give them instructions that that's what i usually do give them instructions and then see how it goes i know with some other teams i really struggle like uh for example with the with the team like Bonamont. To be quite honest with you, I struggle with Bonamont. I did try to use Bonamont as I'm using the other teams in my career mode. But to be quite honest, it was a disaster. As you can see my instructions, Calvin Lewin and Richardson they will stay forward. They don't come back and Sigerson doesn't come back and defend. For it will be an Wallacott, but he's not going to be playing their Wallacott, of course, it's too old. They, they, they still have a chance to come back. They can come back and defend, but uh, I, I'm not going to put much pressure on them when it comes to that. I'm not going to put much pressure on them. But yeah, that, that's how I, I like to play. That's how I like to play. That's how I like my team to be set up. I want them to be like more mobile up front but when it comes to the back four i'm gonna limit my two wing backs from going forward i don't want them to always overlap that's what i don't like because they're gonna leave some gaps and i'm gonna be hit on the counter i don't like that i really hate to lose games because of that because you attack you play well and then boom one counter attack the game is gone once you go two goals down in this game it's a disaster it's really a disaster it's a disaster man i know that i've been playing it as i said look at is our highest rated player let's look at who did we sign we managed to sign Pavon. He's in, man. We signed Pavon, and he's he's really a good player. He is really a good player. I think he's gonna add some value in this team. He he's really like one of my favorite players. But I haven't used him much because I'm trying to avoid you buying players that I've used before. So what I'm doing, I'm just going with the um, like new players that i haven't used much or that i haven't used at all we paid the release clause around 20 million for isaac 20 i think 20.7 million for isaac and for the 3.5 thousand per week that's not much i paid this release clause because I, I needed another striker in my mind i had martinez but uh, with martinez i played martinez before I was playing, I was using him on um, AC Milan career mode. If you didn't see that, you can go and watch that. It was an amazing career mode. I already enjoyed it. I hope this career mode I will enjoy as much as I enjoyed that one. 
but they yeah, have used them before so yeah you know you can't keep on using one and the same players and assigned chaser chaser is a very good player as well assigned him from florentine and then marlin need no introduction ready need no introduction marlin marlin is like a quality player man he 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 is quality that's all i can say about him is really a quality but yeah that's what i did assign those players and i think i think i'm gonna enjoy it marlin he can play multiple positions that's why uh i did sign him actually that's the only reason he was signed because i like the players who can play multiple positions they do help me a lot because there are some cases where you need your player to adjust maybe one is injured then you need someone to cover up Marlin's gonna be that guy who's gonna be doing that and with his speed man he can play on the wing he can play up front if you look at my starting lineup it's gonna be only Chesa and Pavone in the starting lineup but that might change as time goes on it might change i'm not gonna guarantee you that it's gonna stay like that but it's only those two players i don't want to change much in the team uh of course calvin lewin will start richardson will start defending midfield position i'm not sure if government is the right guy for that but I, I'm confident on Chesa and Pavon. Chesa can also play as a centre forward. But since I don't have centre forward, I think I can use Chesa as um. What can I say? I can use him as a as a winger or as a cam striker. That's what I can do with him. I think I, the only place that I need to fix now is my defending, my defense. For Coleman, I already received an offer for him. I did accept it. He's old, he's steady. I know people, they're not going to like that, but he's steady. I, I don't mind letting him go. I have a player in mind. I have some players who can play that position, who can do well, who are still young. I don't know man whatever happens will happen here I will see I'll, I will see how it all goes down this is how I'm gonna end my episode today uh, I'm not gonna play any games but on the next episode definitely we have few games we have to go through all the month of August I don't know how many games I'm gonna simulate in the season but I'll try to play as many games than to simulate a lot because yeah since this is gonna be a road to glory kind of career mode or return to glory whatever you wanna call it it's gonna be like that man but hopefully it's gonna be joy man hopefully it's gonna be nice I hopefully I'm gonna enjoy doing it all the time and um, that will be that actually that will be that guys um, Thank you so much for your support throughout 2019. I'm looking forward for great things in this year, man. Hopefully, it will be great. I really hope it will be brilliant. It will be nice. It's good to be back, by the way. I have been missing this for like all these three weeks. I wanted to do something. But another thing, I've been struggling with picking a team, to be quite honest, on the other side because i always look for a team that can motivate me that can make me like wanna play more i always wanna play more i wanna play more i, I like those kind of career modes man but otherwise sometimes you don't get them that's the thing you don't get them always sometimes you'll struggle but on that note thank you so much guys thank you for your support thank you for everything i really really appreciate it guys i love you so much so 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 much thank you bye